you know, one of the things about um, especially being in the United States is, is seeing how really kind of like divided down the middle, um, real obvious down the middle as far as, you know, what side everybody was taking. And, you know, again, everything is a metaphor in physical reality. So even politics is a, is a metaphor for belief systems, structures, indoctrination, victim perpetrator energy, self-responsibility. So you can find a lot of who and what you're vibrating in the politics that you choose to support or not support, right? So you can see, you can do a lot of like mirror work around how this is all affecting you and whether your candidate won or didn't win. What I'm noticing is that, you know, everything, everything negative is a shortcut and everything is always about passive resistance and everything is always about divine timing. And everything uh, is also about divine order. So sometimes things look very messed up on the surface and very chaotic and unstructured. And it looks like a lot of injustice and it looks like a lot of um, loss and failure and uh, missed opportunities and, um, you know, unfair. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just pulling words out of the collective right now that I've been kind of plucking with and playing with lately. And, and wherever you vibrate in that state of being is a really good marker for you to be able to see, you know, where you are on your personal self-realization journey and where you are as far as your own self-awareness. Um, and also a lot of times we can kind of monitor or, or measure where we are vibrating based in where you have a difference in opinion of someone else or something else. You know, maybe something is very obvious and clear to you and you know, someone is standing in their righteousness about their belief systems where they where you believe that they're completely unwrong wrong for what they're believing or what they're supporting. And I know that we've even felt like that even in our um, community here is, you know, things would be a lot easier and if such and such was in office because, you know, it's it's like which team are you playing on? But at the end of the day, when you're looking at a chessboard and you sit down and there's a you know, white and black, it's like you sit down and you play the side that's closest to you and, and you are the creator of that reality. So, you know, one thing that I did notice is with the whole um, kind of conspiracy theory around the voters, um, you know, fraud that's kind of that the conspiracy theory of that is, you know, notice how notice how there hasn't really been any rioting or any uproar. And think about if, you know, whether you like Trump or not, whether if Trump would have got in office that first night, how America would have begun its civil war. I mean, it would have. That was the probability that I was looking at. Now, obviously, whatever negative is a shortcut, great. You know, practice resistance, great. But, you know, me as a small business owner, you know, the last thing that I want to have to do in order to get through to my true freedom and abundance is, you know, have my ha have my collective burnt to the ground because somebody didn't get their way. Now, notice that, you know, Biden gets into office and nobody's burning anything down because honestly, you know, it's it's all about it's it's all about passing this resistance. So even if things are not going the way that you want them to go, you know, peace is ultimately ultimately part of the plan. And sometimes when there's a lot of chaos and misunderstanding and a lot of unfinished business and curiosity and mystery, things can really reorganize themselves behind the veil, behind the curtain to get us prepared. So if you're finding yourself in a state of being right now that you are not choosing consciously, okay, your candidate, your home, your house, your boyfriend, your body, whatever, notice where you have an opportunity to play whatever hand is in front of you but play the hand that is in front of you, how you would play it. Which means that if I sat in front of a trust board and the closest pieces to me were the black pieces, right? And we're looking, not in skin color here, we're looking in the idea of dark and light. And the dark, dark pieces were, were closer to me and if someone sits down and the white pieces are closer to them, do I move the board to make it fit more of who I am? And, or do I just play the hand? that I am dealt and I play the dark pieces through the light or through my personal awareness or my perception of reality. So I think that's really what spirit is asking for all of us right now is to play whatever hand is in front of you, but play how you would play it, which means that all rules are, are basically vibrating potential 
which means that any rule that is in place is, te is technically just a projected limit. And a post that I just made today on Instagram is all about when you change the way you see things, things change. And here's why. When you, when you play strategy of this virtual reality game, you learn how to not only master and manipulate energy through the game, but you then graduate into becoming the creator of your reality. So first thing I want you guys to do is, is look at any limit or challenge or problem that you're facing right now and, and break it up a little bit. Like, okay, well, this is the hand that we're dealt. There's a little acceptance piece coming if you watch my acceptance video. Great, lay it out. Okay, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my language. I'm going to change the way I see this. And I'm going to change this idea of a problem. And I'm going to move it over to what I would call a, a challenge. Right there, you've shifted the energy from a problem to a challenge. Problem kind of means a dead end, stuck, no help, no support, no lifeline, no opportunities. You move that same problem over into the idea of a challenge. And challenge defined is a game. A game is a duel of two opposing perspectives right? Now we're playing chess. Before it was just empty slate, no creation, we're moving it into a game format. Now whatever hand I'm dealt, I could play, which means if I'm playing the dark, I have potential. If I'm playing the light, I have potential. If I'm playing the left side, the right side, the, the red, the blue, I am ultimately navigating those that game board. So I have a lot more power than I may believe I do, depending on whoever was elected. So you're going to change that problem in, in, you're going to change that problem into a challenge and then you're going to look at that challenge as a game and you're going to look at that game as looking for possibilities in the problem looking for infinite choices disguised as roadblocks you're looking for detours you're looking for um, you're looking for opportunities to maybe look in a different direction or think about something else or step into courage or level up or speak your truth or start your business or you know end a relationship or move. You're looking to then reroute yourself because if there is a roadblock, there will be a detour. Your job is to look for the detour, not the roadblock, right? And this is how infinite universe works with higher levels of consciousness no high level of consciousness ever, ever sees a problem. They see an opportunity. They see a possibility disguised as a limit. Even all the limits that you were born into, you have parlayed them into possibilities. You have turned pain into purpose. And this is the same opportunity disguised as maybe not what you want on the surface, but what it's bringing you to. A detour a lot of times is and can be shortcut. And usually with the universe, if you take the detour instead of complaining about the roadblock, the universe rewards you because in order for you to take the detour, you have to be courageous. You have to look outside the box. You have to see a challenge, not a problem. And when you do that, you level up, you move into a higher frequency, you move into higher vibration. And then of course you are then matching the frequency of the solution. And when you match the frequency of the solution, then you are in the field of possibilities, okay? And no longer in the problem.